Pulse 95. Apps all around. What's worth a click and download? Instagram is finally testing a desktop posting feature, which was actually a major missing feature from the desktop web version. Now, obviously, Instagram is made for people who use it on their phones, on their la- on their on their iPads, but mm-hmm. not really for people who use it on the desktop. Now, when your job is all about social media or being a social media executive, you will want to use Instagram on your desktop a lot more. It's just easier when you're editing on Photoshop, Adobe sure. Illustrator, whatever platform it is, and then uploading automatically from there to your um, to your to your desktop, to your, to your Instagram, it is much easier. But they never actually had that option. But Instagram again is testing that ability to create posts using the web browser on a desktop computer, and that feature was actually spotted by a social media consultant who did capture some screenshots demonstrating that functionality. Yes, indeed. Now, Facebook does acknowledge that a lot of people want to be able to access Instagram from their computers, especially if you're someone with a small business, if you're a social media specialist or executive, and all of your world revolves around Instagram posts, timing them up, typing typing Mm -hmm. captions out, posting them on time. You want to be able to do that from your computer. So they've decided to allow us to basically create a feed post on Instagram with our desktop browser. Now, as you've mentioned, Tanya, a social media consultant actually was able to spot this feature even before it was launched to everyone else. But she shared screenshots that showcase how you're even able to select what aspect ratios do you want? So how big do you want the post mm-hmm. to look like? She was able to apply built-in features and use basic editing parameters within the browser. Now, this feature is not appear- appearing for everyone mm-hmm. just yet. However, it is highlighted in the top right of the screen with a message that does say that you can now go ahead, create and share posts directly from your computer, which mm-hmm. does show that Instagram is serious about having a broad rollout for this feature for everyone who uses Instagram on their desktops. Yes. Now, uh, with that screenshots, we're looking at how um, you can select aspect ratios, apply built-in filters, and even use basic editing parameters within that browser. And just like Omnia said, it's not appearing for everyone, but I'm really excited to see how it will cater to, again, you do know that, let's say, for example, you want to upload a picture on Instagram right now. Yeah. It's going to tell you, you have to use within this aspect ratio. Mm -hmm. You can't go above it. You can't go lower it. Right? Yeah. So I'm wondering how that will work with desktop, uh, desktop Instagram. But again, Instagram has been historically slow to implement features on its web app. Now, before you couldn't even direct message or view stories. And now you can on the desktop and direct messaging only became available just last year, for example. But social media professionals who do use Instagram as part of their daily workflow have had to actually resort to resort to third party tools to create desktop posts, showing that some use cases don't necessarily benefit from the mobile only approach. Now, actually, I've seen a lot of social media uh, executives use, for example, third party websites and actually pay for those websites yeah. to post or schedule a timing yes. when an Instagram post should be uploaded. And it's been very inconvenient for those yes. people because I mean this is this is their day-to-day job. They don't they shouldn't be needing to pay subscription services for third-party applications mm-hmm. if Instagram itself can go ahead and implement this feature. Now we do know that Apple's latest iMac came with a completely new design mm-hmm. and the M1 processor chip, which does mean that a lot of people are actually looking to implement all the different new skills that they are getting on their new iMacs with their Instagram platforms. Let us know. Are you an Instagram desktop version or an Instagram phone version type of person? I know like a lot of people, they either use WhatsApp on their mobile only or they use a mixture of both. Yeah, I mean, for me, I don't use WhatsApp in general. Yeah. But uh, with Instagram, I would have... For me, I don't need any any Instagra- Instagram on my desktop. I don't, mm. I don't use it. Yeah. Right? But... If I needed Instagram on my desktop, I would want those features to be available. Exactly. Let us know where do you where do you lie on between on those two lines. Mm-hmm. Are you 
just the person who uses the apps on the phone the way they are or do you also prefer having them on your desktop as well our text lines are open 4215 do it this a lot or sign into our dms at pulse 95 radio coming up if you're a big movies fan movies fan and you you're just tired of having to pay every single time for your movie ticket we have a new gadget that you can ma- pay like a thousand dollars and have movies forever exactly it's a lifetime investment we're bringing the movies all the way to you with a simple gadget what could this gadget be 